shawty, yeah, and it went ahead and fuck with her. Looking like a bottle, shawty, bad, yeah, she know what's up. Looking at the stars, at the stars, I won't fuck it up. Shawty, catch a lie, yeah, I had to put her on. You ever on your phone? What the fuck is that? Just scrolling, listening to a video, some guy tells some story with a GTA car absolutely sending it in the background, just demolishing your dopamine receptors. <laughs> and then you get to thinking to yourself, wow, that actually looks kind of fun, except real life. And then you think again, oh yeah, I can't do that, nor do I have the funds to do that, if you're like me. So you go to the next best option, Gran Turismo 7. You get all excited, load the game up, get your wheel going, look for some lobbies, and... Fucking nothing. It's bad. This is really bad. And a little drip lobby right here. And there's like three, maybe four people in here, including me. And the point I'm trying to make is, the community is just not even there, man. It's like, hardly there. You gotta go middle of the day when it's like the hot time, otherwise you probably won't even find drifting lobbies for real. And the content on YouTube is just really just not there. I'm not too sure. Like all the all the people that make Grand Tours of Seven videos, first of all, most of them aren't drifting. I don't know any of them that really are, but if they are, they're also not focused on Grand Tours of Seven. You know what I mean? And this kind of boils down to like maybe the Grand Tours of Seven community in general, but like when you can find a, like a, let's say a tandem lobby or something, man, some people just don't care and like sometimes they'll just like ram straight through you. I turn now. Good luck everybody else. Because you know, almost all these lobbies like you to be on comfort hards, right? Tire in the game with the least grip, so you can't really do takeoffs like that and somehow they do. I don't know, maybe I just got my car set up to where it just doesn't have grip, that's probably the case honestly, but they just, if you're going too slow, they'll really just drive straight through you and somehow it just affects you and not them, it's really annoying. I'm When you can find a lobby, a tandem lobby per se, it's really hard to find a good one. I mean, first of all, the lag too, that's probably a driving factor as to why people don't like to do it. The lag can be pretty bad, and some of that lag might not even be their fault. Of course it can be, obviously, but some of the lag might be Grand Tours of Seven servers. I don't know, they just, it just lags a lot. It makes it hard to get door to door with people when he's like literally teleporting back and forth. Like, I've literally been tandeming with somebody and he was in front of me and he was behind me. You know what I'm saying? It was weird. It's not a map. One other reason I think the community might be so small is the fact that it's limited to being on console because there are a lot of sim racers on PC obviously. And like see, yeah, no offense, there's just not that many good players. Like I hate to say it like that, I'm not trying to sound like I'm amazing, I'm not at all. I'm pretty bad. But you can't tan them like this dude behind me. I don't even know what he's doing. I don't even know if he's jerking for real. Maybe he's learning. Yeah, I'm not complaining that they're bad. I just wish there was if there was a bigger community, there would be more people that are good at tandems. You know what I'm saying? More chance to get good. Yeah, I really think with Veneer, Sony, PlayStation, whatever, if they end up throwing this on PC, it'll help all these problems a lot, honestly. You sure about that? Yeah, I mean, I don't know about the server ones. That might make that worse, honestly. But shoot, actually, matter of fact, they just had a server uh, maintenance update, so I doubt that fixed anything, but you never know. I don't know if y'all can hear it, dude. This transmission has got some cut gears. Oh, it sounds so nice. Talking and drifting is not as easy as you think. I need to get me a handbrake, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I literally categorized to look for some drift lobbies, and there's literally only four active right now. And it's like it's like 2 p.m., so the community's just not there, and it's pretty disappointing. Where did everybody go? go? Oh, dude, I'm excited. Oh, let's go, dude. We got a train going. What do you mean by that? Pause, hold on. Hey, you know what I meant. Tandem train. Oh. I feel like it's just too many people to be clean, honestly. It's not coordinated enough. This M3 is like almost like when he hey, gets bro, going, he's doing pretty good actually. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet, bro. Hey bud, I'm right here. And I was watching a video earlier and dude said the reason he thinks Grand Turismo doesn't have the community because he brought it up as well is because a lot of people seem to think that the handling on GT7 is just weird, which I don't necessarily agree with, man. Grand Turismo 7 that they taught me how to handle real life cars. I swear. Yeah. But yeah, let me know if y'all feel the same way down in the comments. The community is just not there as it really should be. But yeah, man, let's try to get this community bigger, get it jumping. Drifting in this game deserves a lot more love than it has. Because they kind of treat it like an afterthought. If there was a bigger community, they wouldn't. But there would be a bigger community if they threw it on PC. It's just like... The cycle never ends. I don't even know. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. 
Comments, feedback, subscribe. Let's get that community bigger, you know what I'm saying? But above all, have a very good day.